Well, something that's relatively new, we introduced this about a year ago, uh, is the ability to get at civil element properties through item types, just like you can with CAD properties. So you'll find these under the civil element properties dot nomenclature here. And you can get at things like corridor information, drainage and utilities information, geometry information by using this methodology. So as we start typing in here, this is an auto completion. Now I will tell you that this one does behave a little bit different than some of the other item type functions. This function does not exist in the left pane. So if you expanded out the left pane, you would see civil element properties, but you would not see all of the other options in there. Part of the reason for that is there's literally thousands of choices in here. So putting them all in that menu was uh, just impractical to browse through them there. So we built this in the structure that as you start typing and you click a dot, you'll get the next piece. So if I chose geometry and then picked a dot, it'll show me what's next. And you can navigate down through the entire civil structure here. This is also organized exactly like text favorites. So if you are used to browsing through and setting up text favorites, that hierarchy, that structure of data is exactly the same in these expressions as it is in the text favorites. Now, I've mentioned a couple times that there's a lot of options in here, and these can be a little bit difficult to type in and find them all because you've got to navigate through the structure. So we have given you an easier way to do this, and this is how I'd recommend really setting these up, not actually going through and typing. Create an element in your file that has the kind of civil property on it that you want. Go to that civil property, like the feature name, for example, right-click on it, and you can choose copy EC expression and then come and paste it into your expression builder. It will write out that full expression for you and you don't have to browse through that and type that in as you go. Now, that is hidden by default in your environment. So you may go try that and say, wait a minute, Dan, that doesn't exist. You told me it was there. Well, it is. What we've done is we weren't certain if you wanted to expose that to everybody all the time. So we've given you the ability to control that through a configuration variable. If you want this copy EC expression to be visible and available, set this civil property EC expression equal to one in your workspace. If it's not set, you will not see this option when right clicking. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you, and see you next time.